Good day, Royal fans, and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Sheldon Moon, and today's Royal Headline. Prince Harry launches grueling new challenge for injured veterans. Prince Harry has spoken about the walk over Marne, the latest tough challenge set for injured veterans by walking with the wounded, which he is patron of. Prince Harry has launched a grueling new physical challenge for injured veterans, which promises to be like unlike anything they faced before. A team of ex-military personnel will walk 400 kilometers across Oman, including the empty quarter, the largest sand desert in the world, facing searing temperatures. The walk of Oman has been organized by the charity Walking with the Wounded, which Harry is the patron. The men and women who take part in who have take part have been wounded while serving their countries and hope to draw attention to the support needed in their transition to civilian life. They will trek between 20 to 22 kilometers a day in temperatures of 35 degrees Celsius while putting a custom built cart weighing in excess of 300 kgs. Launching the challenge, Harry said, at the end of this year, a year that has been unprecedented global challenges, a group of veterans will be tackling a challenge unlike anything they faced before. Facing searing temperatures and pulling a cart that weighs more than three times their own body weight. These veterans will need to summon incredible physical and mental strength. I am proud once again to support them and support the veterans whose courage, determination and resilience is a credit to all of us who have served. To the men and women selected for this team, good luck. I know people all over the world will be cheering you on. The team will set off on November 20th and the trek is expected to take 21 days, ending in Oman's Armed Forces Day. It's running in partnership with the Omani Armed Forces and in support of the Royal Office of H.M. Sultan Haitham bin Tariq. The route pays homage to the legendary travels that Walfred Tigzner took across the Arabian Peninsula in 1940. The charity CEO Ed Parker said the charity has tackled the North and South Poles, walked the length of Britain and crossed the USA. The Oman expedition creates a new challenge and sense of adventure. We are honoured to be walking across the Omani Desert, a country so closely aligned in many areas with the UK, particularly with our military. The desert and intense heat of the Middle East is one environment we have not yet faced. Oman was chosen because of their very close ties with our two nations. The UK supported His Majesty Sultan Qubus during the Dufour conflict in 1972, and the UK and Omani military continue to train closely with one another to this day. Our aims as before are to raise and maintain awareness of the challenges many face in the wilder military community. The funds raised will support the WWTWS's existing programs, supporting those ex-servicemen and women who have struggled since they left the armed forces. Dominic Reed, OBE, <coughs> CEO of the Invictus Games Foundation, commented, The Invictus Games Foundation is proud to lend its support to walking with the wounded and the walk of Oman. This walk has not only shared a patron with the foundation, it shares its goals in supporting those injured in service. We look forward to helping establish further international endeavors in the future. Good luck to all those walking that walk. Guys, thank you for watching today's installment. If you found it interesting as I did, please like, leave a comment and subscribe. Don't forget we have new videos daily, so tune in tomorrow for more royal news. Goodbye for now.